Marcel, Glückwunsch zum Sieg. Der dritte in der Serie. Wie wichtig war der heute für euch und wie schwer war er? Ja, ganz wichtig. Jetzt haben wir zweimal auswärts gewonnen und jetzt wollen wir zu Hause den Sack zumachen. Und war sehr, sehr wichtig, auch für Selbstvertrauen. Und äh, ja, ich denke, jetzt sind wir gut gerüstet, am Donnerstag das Ding zuzumachen. Erzähl ein bisschen was über dein Tor, dieser Pass von Holmquist. Wir haben alle ziemlich mit den Ohren geschlackert, als wir das gesehen haben. Wie kam es zustande, der Treffer? Ja gut, ich wusste, dass er spielt, weil er immer abspielt. Und dann äh, bin ich einfach da hingelaufen und ja, musste ja einfach nur noch einschieben. Es war ein Spiel, was wenig von Nicklichkeiten und wenig von äh, der Härte äh, geprägt war, was wir aus den letzten Spielen gekannt haben. Hat man so ein bisschen damit gerechnet, dass die Wolfsburger sich eher aus Spielen fokussieren heute? Ja, ich glaube, das müssen sie auch, äh, weil die spielen überwiegend, glaube ich, mit zwei Reihen oder wenig mit ihrer dritten und vierten Reihe. Und wenn man dann äh, noch aggressiv nach jedem Abpfiff äh, in, die, äh, in den Gegner reingeht, das kostet natürlich auch Kraft und ich denke, dass sie äh, Kraft sparen wollten. Es war ein sehr schnelles Spiel heute. Insgesamt hat euch das im ersten Drittel ein bisschen überrascht. Man hat das Gefühl, dass Wolfsburg mit mehr Jump aus der Kabine gekommen am Anfang. Ja, auf jeden Fall. Also das erste Drittel waren sie bei weitem besser als wir. Aber wir haben uns dann gefangen und äh, ja, haben dann verdient gewonnen, denke ich. Was äh, erwartest du vom nächsten Spiel am Donnerstag? Irgend noch was ganz Neues aus der Trickkiste von Pavel Groß? Ja, lassen wir uns überraschen. Nein, aber ich denke, dass wir wieder hart kommen werden wie heute. Da müssen wir bereit sein und ein bisschen wacher als heute sein. Aber ich denke, dass wir eine gute Ausgangsposition haben, auch zu Hause zu gewinnen. Donny, congratulations on the win, third win in the series. How good does it feel right now? Uh, that feels great. We know they're really good at home and, and uh, it uh, feels really good to, to beat them. How much did they surprise you guys in the first period? They came out with a lot of jump. How tough was it to get into the game for you guys? Well, we kind of know how they how they play. So even if we know that, it's always uh, hard to come here and play. But uh, we just try to uh, make it as easy as possible and then, and then uh, go from there. It was a high-paced game, not much of the dirty stuff. At least it looked like that. Um, were you surprised that they didn't try to get under your guys' skins more? I think the referee uh, kept it uh, pretty good in the beginning, uh, so there was no time for that. And uh, I think uh, after that there was just a, a lot of skating. And tell us a little bit about your game winner today. It was uh, everybody was kind of like taking two seconds to realize that you actually put it in. How did it happen? Well, I think we actually came three on two. I had two forwards standing on the blue lines, but I I had good speed and I was thinking I might just shoot it and see what happens. And it went through the defenseman's leg and then uh, it squeezed by the goalie. So, and it was lay the puck was laying there for a couple of seconds, but I uh, I try I poked it and I I think I poked it on him and in. So I'll take that. It's not the prettiest one, but it's okay. It's okay. So what do you expect from the next game on uh, Thursday? Not much time to think about it, uh, about the win, whatever. Um, what's it going to be like? Well, it's, it's always the hardest game to, to finish the, the series. So, I mean, uh, we know that they kind of come out desperate again. And uh, this is the last chance to, to stay in here. And uh, we know that, but, but we're going to try to control uh, what we can control and, and um, hope for the best. Charlie, you watched it from the bench. Unfortunately, I guess you would rather have played, of course. But uh, what do you think of the game? You know, I thought we played great. You know, we, we didn't give up that many chances. And, uh, you know... They, they played a great game too. You know that was two teams playing well. Three two is a, is a fair result, and uh, yeah, we're happy with the win. It looked like it picked up the speed immediately. There was not so much nasty stuff going on. The referees were, were very strict about everything. Did that help come the game along? Yeah, I think so. You know, we're we're two fast teams, skilled teams. You know, it's it's a it's great hockey to watch and uh, it's fun to play. But you know, the refs did a good job. You know, they they made the right calls when they had to, and uh, they weren't that much of an influence on the game. You know, we had a few penalties or power plays earlier. They had a few power plays later on, and and then that was about it. So it was it was a fairly even game, an honest game, and and I'm glad we came out on the right side. Tell us a little bit about the reaction on the bench on the Tian goal. I don't know, you know, we were just kind of watching it, the shot, we saw it trickle and then we didn't know because it's, it's a tough angle and he just poked it in and, you know, we saw his hands go up, so uh, ours go up and his go up, so uh, it, was, it was pretty cool to watch. It was the first game when the leads changed twice, it was uh, Minar scoring first, uh, then they even it out and stuff and so on until uh, the final, the winning goal, and did that bother anyone at any time? Was there some sense of nervousness when they took over the lead? No, I don't think so. And it was just kind of the same in game two when they scored first. We scored right back maybe two shifts later. You know, so we know that uh, they're an offensive team and we, we have a lot of
offense as well. You know, so we we know it's it's never out of hand if they're up by a goal or two, and and uh, you know we're a confident team right now. And we're we're playing well. How much would you think this is a neck breaker for Wolfsburg this game? Well, I know over there in the dressing room, you know, they're not going to give up. Neither are we. You know, um, odds are statistically, you know, you can look at all the things, but what matters is game by game. You know. We need to we need to finish it off as, as soon as we can. You know we have three stabs at it, so hopefully uh, we get it done.